controversy to tell you about. The debut this week of what many call anti-Muslim ads on New York City buses and subways is stirring outrage, with people saying that the ads promote hate. But the woman behind the ads claimed that they tell the truth that the media and the U.S. government often ignore. CNN's Rosa Flores has more. It takes a lot to turn heads in New York City, but on a day when commuters are dealing with word of a potential ISIS terror plot, the startling ads, soon to appear on buses as well, are a shock to the system. Um, I find them very disturbing. Here's one that says Islamic Jew hatred. It's in the Quran. Stop the hate. And this one, which shows a picture of journalist James Foley moments before he was brutally killed by ISIS, saying it's not Islamophobia, it's Islamorealism. It's America, so you kind of say what you want. I think it's propaganda to really pr pr promote hate. Pamela Geller, the president of the American Freedom Defense Initiative, is behind the campaign and says her message is not anti-Muslim, it's anti-Jihad. There is nothing in my ads that say Muslim. We oppose jihad. And the idea that it's anti-Muslim, in my opinion, is a way of detracting from the message. She says it's the Quran that ignites jihad. There are numerous, numerous verses and hadith calling for the annihilation of the non-believer. Smite them at their necks. Every action is accompanied by an Islamic prayer. To say that the Quran in and of itself is really what guides uh, the choices Muslims make is, is really naive. The ads are generating outrage. These ads incite violence, especially from organizations like the Council on American Islamic Relations. These ads are targeted mainly at people who are not Muslims, trying to get them to hate Islam and be hostile to American Muslims. This is not the first time Geller has rattled emotions with edgy campaigns. Look at these ads from back in 2012, when the Metropolitan Transportation Authority rejected one of her ads. She took her message to federal court and won. That's why all of these ads have a disclaimer that says the display of this advertisement does not imply MTA's endorsement of any views expressed because let's remember in America all views are protected under the First Amendment. Freedom of speech, protecting what some call a message of intolerance in a city and a nation increasingly on the edge. Rosa Flores, CNN, New York.